Human traffickers target the vulnerable in any community, but when it comes to finding help for the victims, it's all about spotting the signs. It boggles my mind when I look back at myself walking down the street, a 12-year-old, and nobody took the time to ask, are you in any trouble? Her name is Kim. We're not showing her face to protect her identity, but there's no hiding the pain she suffered as a victim of human trafficking. It started when she was nine, after she'd been in and out of foster care. I remember finding a, a pin on the floor and I poked my finger and I drew people in the closet walls because I would be left alone for hours, um, was withheld food, um, was beat. She was later sold and then escaped her second trafficker at age 16. You have to know that there is a way out. But for those who aren't able to escape on their own, how might we all be able to spot a human trafficking victim? I like to make sure people know that compliance isn't consent. Just because you're seeing someone and they're doing what the person with them says they should be doing, doesn't mean they're really doing it willingly. It's sometimes it's just survival, and often it's survival sex that they're doing. Edie Franklin is the founder of Sanctum House, a two-year program of intensive healing and care at an undisclosed location in Metro Detroit. You're on a waiting list now. Yes, we are. We're this pile this big. It's for adult women who've been a victim of human trafficking, people like Kim. We're a, a collaborative effort with over 30 agencies that helps women uh, repurpose their lives through physical means, psychological means, emotional, educational, and spiritual guidance. Franklin says there are clues that can indicate someone is being trafficked. The person is accompanied by a controlling person. They don't speak on their own behalf. They're not able to keep the money they earn. They're rarely allowed in public. Franklin says the average age for victims is 14 to 16. When you have a child that's now all of a sudden got, you know, toys, you know, purses and jewelry that she never had. When their friends end up being much older than they are. If your child starts to get isolated from the family because traffickers start to groom their victims, mm -hmm. that's an important piece. Victims may also be marked with tattoos. It could be daddy's girl or the name of their stable might be tattooed or there might be a barcode tattooed on them to show that they're, that they're property. Franklin says if you suspect someone is a victim, call police. Don't try and be a, a savior yourself because you put yourself in danger and for sure you can put in harm's way the person that you're trying to save. As for Kim. Would I have accepted the help at that time? I don't know. But to know that somebody wanted to help me might have changed my life. She's now 55, thriving, taking computer classes, and ready to graduate from Sanctum House and be on her own. She hopes her story and those of so many others will encourage all of us to be more aware. This is serious. It don't just happen to broken kids. It could be happening right next door and you don't even know it. If you want to learn more about Sanctum House or more information on how to spot the signs of a human trafficking victim, head to WXYZ.com. I'm Manu Prakash, 7 Action News.